a video in under five minutes from KJ4YZI and Ham Radio Concepts on my MFJ 849 HF through UHF digital backlit SWR watt meter. Shows you everything on one screen, forward power, reflected power, and SWR. 200 watt scale, 1.6 megahertz. Well, let me show you the back here. On the back, you have your HF side, which would be 1 point, uh, 160 meters through 6 meters on this side, transmitter and antenna. And on the other side, 125 megahertz through UHF 525. So you could put your dual bander on this side, your HF rig on this side, and have uh, the switch between the two without having to use two separate meters. So I can switch to HF and VHF, UHF. Now this is almost identical in operation to my MFJ894 cross needle that you may have seen in a lot of other videos that I've done. And I like my cross needle. The, the only difference in operation, I would say, between the two is that the cross needle does not require power to operate. A standard cross needle, the power is only used for the backlight. Whereas this one here, the, ba the power is used to power the unit. So keep that in mind if you're in the field and you don't want to plug another thing in. The power on this one is for everything. The power on the cross needle is only for the backlight. But similar in operation, same specs, same power handling, and uh, the only difference I see on the uh, 894 cross needle looks to be that it has an average and PEP function select, whereas this one does not. So maybe this one is just a standard average power, um, and the other one's got the hold for the, the uh, peak envelope power. For my new viewers who are new into the hobby or somebody that just may have never been explained to, just show you two minutes on the difference between an analog cross needle SWR meter and a digital one here. So with my 894, MFJ 894 here, I have my radio set to 100 watts at uh, 7 megahertz on 40 meters. So I'm going to transmit and I'll show you what you see. Okay, so 100 watts. Now, the first thing you'll notice is the needle goes up on this side, that's your forward power. From 0 to 200 watts, your forward power is at 100 watts, or in my case, 100. Now, at the same time, because I'm going into a dummy load, I should have almost a 0 SWR. So because I'm going 100 watts forward into a perfect match, my reflected power is practically nothing. Okay? Ideally, you'd want to see as minimal reflected power as possible. So. Where the two lines intersect would be your SWR. Now, if you look right here, the SWR, where the two are intersecting, is 1.0 to 1, okay, basically flat. Um, if I had, it, if the lines were going up, say, to 60 on forward power and uh, 10 on reflected, it would be crossing somewhere around 2.5 SWR. Because I don't have it hooked up to an antenna right now, I don't show you, I don't have SWR. Uh, it, you know, I'm just using a dummy load. So ideally, your forward, your reflected, and your SWR shows you all that in the same, you know, picture on a cross needle. Now, when you're using a digital one, it kind of does the math for you. It's got the same information as you just saw in the glance on the screen. I transmit now. I have 100 watts output. Reflected power is 0.00. .00. My SWR is 0. Okay, so it's, it's, I mean, it's very, very far down there where it's barely readable. That is, all, that is like a perfect ideal antenna. What you'd want to see is 100 watts out, 0 watts reflected back to your radio. And uh, there's a lot of information online to discuss VSWR, voltage standing wave ratio. But I'm just showing you the meters here and kind of keeping it quick. So the MFJ849. Great little meter. I'm going to keep this on the uh, on the desk for a while so that when I'm making videos and doing power tests in the future, it's a little easier for you guys to see in the same shot as the radio. Thanks for watching. Five-minute video from KJ4YZI73.